Have you ever wondered if there's a way to tell if a woman has just had sex? Whether you're curious, suspicious, or just plain interested, the signs can be more obvious than you might think. Stick around, because today we are diving into the five key indicators that can give you some surprising insights. In this video, we'll explore the subtle and not so subtle signs that a woman has recently had sex. These signs aren't just about physical changes, they're deeply tied to her psychology and behavior. Understanding them can help you better read the women in your life and enhance your understanding of female sexuality. We'll cover five specific signs her mood, physical appearance, body language, conversation cues, and her behavior in the hours after. By the end of this video, you'll have a sharper eye for these signs and a better grasp of what they might mean. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We're here to provide you with insights that matter, helping you navigate the complex world of dating, relationships, and attraction. Your support helps us grow and reach more people who can benefit from this knowledge. Now, let's get started. Number one, her mood is significantly different. One of the first signs you might notice is a sudden change in her mood. After sex, a woman's body releases a flood of feel-good hormones like oxytocin which can leave her feeling more relaxed, happy, and content. On the flip side, if the experience wasn't satisfying or came with emotional baggage, she might seem more distant or even irritable. A study from the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that the emotional response post-sex varies widely among women, depending on the context of the encounter. However, a noticeable mood shift, whether positive or negative, can be a key indicator that something intimate has happened. Pay attention to sudden changes in her demeanor. If she's unusually upbeat or oddly reserved without any clear reason, it might be linked to a recent sexual encounter. Remember though, mood changes can happen for many reasons, so consider the context before jumping to conclusions. Number two, she's got that post-sex glow. After sex, many women experience what's commonly referred to as the post-sex glow. This is a result of increased blood flow to the skin and the release of endorphins, making her complexion appear more radiant and her cheeks a bit rosier. According to dermatologists, the increase in circulation and hormonal changes during and after sex can temporarily enhance a woman's appearance, giving her skin a healthy, flushed look. This isn't just a myth, it's a real physiological response. If you notice that her skin looks particularly fresh or glowing, it could be a sign that she recently had sex. Combine this with other signs to get a clearer picture, as the glow alone might not be enough to draw a conclusion. Number three, her body language changes. Body language can reveal a lot about what someone is feeling. After sex, a woman's body language might become more relaxed, open, or even slightly seductive. She might sit back more comfortably, lean in closer during conversation, or display other signs of physical contentment. Research in nonverbal communication shows that after positive intimate experiences, people often display more open and confident body language. A woman who's just had satisfying sex may unconsciously project this through her movements and posture. Observe how she's sitting, standing, or moving around. Is she more at ease than usual? Is there a subtle, confident shift in the way she carries herself? These body language cues, when combined with other signs, can give you a good indication of what's been going on. Number four, she drops hints in conversation. Sometimes the clues aren't in her appearance or body language, but in what she says or doesn't say. Women might drop subtle hints in conversation, either intentionally or unintentionally, that point to a recent sexual experience. These might include casual mentions of how she spent her time, vague references to someone she was with, or even a playful comment about feeling satisfied. Studies in conversational analysis suggest that people often allude to recent experiences through indirect language, especially when those experiences are intimate or private. It's a way of sharing without being overt. Listen carefully to her words. Is she being more playful or teasing than usual? Does she mention someone new or talk about what she did last night with a sly smile? These conversational cues can be telling, especially when paired with other signs. Number five, her behavior in the hours after. Finally, her behavior in the hours following the encounter can be very revealing. If she's had sex recently, she might show signs of lingering arousal like touching herself more frequently, adjusting her clothing, or taking extra time to freshen up. Research on postcoital behavior highlights 
that many women feel a heightened awareness of their bodies and often engage in behaviors aimed at maintaining that feeling of cleanliness or attractiveness. Watch how she behaves after she's come back from a date or after she's been away for a while. Is she suddenly paying more attention to her appearance, touching her hair, or adjusting her clothing more than usual? These can be subtle but significant indicators of recent sexual activity. Number six, her mood is significantly different. One of the most immediate signs that might indicate a woman has recently had sex is a noticeable shift in her mood. After an intimate encounter, the body releases a variety of hormones, including oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. This surge of oxytocin can make her feel more relaxed, content, and emotionally connected. You might notice that she seems unusually happy, peaceful, or even a bit dreamy. On the other hand, if the sexual experience wasn't satisfying, or if it brought up emotional conflicts, she could appear more withdrawn, irritable, or even anxious. It's important to note that mood changes are not exclusive to sexual activity. Stress, work pressures, and personal issues can all influence her emotional state. However, if you notice a significant and sudden mood shift without an obvious external cause, it might be worth considering whether an intimate encounter could be a factor. A study from the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that emotional responses post-sex can vary widely among women, influenced by the context of the encounter, the emotional connection with the partner, and the individual's personal history with intimacy. This complexity underscores the importance of not jumping to conclusions based solely on mood changes. Pay close attention to her demeanor. If she's usually upbeat but suddenly seems down, or if she's typically reserved but now seems to be floating on air, these mood shifts could be telling. Just remember to approach any observations with an open mind and respect for her privacy and emotional well-being. Number seven, she's got that post-sex glow. Another sign that a woman may have recently had sex is what's often called the post-sex glow. This isn't just a poetic expression, it's a physiological response. After sex, increased blood flow and the release of endorphins can lead to a more radiant complexion with her skin appearing more vibrant and her cheeks slightly flushed. Dermatologists note that these changes are temporary but noticeable, resulting in what many describe as a natural, healthy glow. Putting it all together. So, there you have it five signs that can clue you in to whether a woman has just had sex. From changes in her mood to subtle hints in conversation, each of these signs tells a part of the story. However, it's crucial to approach these observations with caution. These indicators are not definitive proof and should never be used to make assumptions about someone's personal life. Relationships and human interactions are complex, and understanding someone's behavior requires empathy, respect, and communication. It's essential to consider the broader context and to be mindful of her privacy and boundaries. If you find yourself noticing these signs in a partner, the best course of action is to have an open and respectful conversation rather than making judgments based on assumptions moving forward. Now, let's talk about how you should use this information. If you notice these signs, it's important to react with sensitivity and understanding. Jumping to conclusions or making accusations based on these observations alone can damage trust and communication in a relationship. The right approach is to focus on building a foundation of openness and mutual respect. If you're in a relationship and notice these signs, Consider how you're communicating with your partner about intimacy. Are you creating a safe space for her to express herself? Are you comfortable sharing your own experiences and feelings? The key is to foster an environment where both partners feel secure discussing their desires, boundaries, and emotions. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with others who might benefit from these tips. Your support helps us create more content that delves deep into the psychology of attraction, relationships and sexuality. We want to hear from you what signs have you noticed before. Drop a comment below and let's get the conversation going.